she can't just like walk into our lives and be all part of it like she's just been here the whole time. Linda, you don't belong here. Girl, we're just playing Monopoly. It ain't that deep. Finally, we have the third installment for a franchise that nobody asked for. Yes, I know a lot of you will be saying, what? Why is there a third movie for the kissing booth? I don't know either. Last time we left off, Elle was deciding between whether she would go to Harvard or UC Berkeley. Both two very top elite schools that I still don't know how she got accepted in. But listen, we're not here to use logic, okay? We're only here to see how Rachel is doing. Rachel, my girl, my sweetest, prettiest girl in the entire movie, along with Chloe, who is another favorite of mine. There's also Marco, who is the other love interest interest for Elle. I suspect he's gonna try to get in the way of the relationship in this movie because it did kind of leave off on a cliffhanger where he was still having feelings for her. Which I don't mind necessarily because I like Marco as well. Even though he's basically like the main guy but in a different font, he still seems like a nice dude so I'm all about the side characters. I don't care about any of the main characters at all. Hopefully all the main characters die in a car accident or something. I figured if I'm gonna force myself to do this though, I might as well get compensated for it. So I would like to say thank you to Function Abuse for sponsoring this video. I've been working with them for over a year now. I bleach my hair at home, which means that my hair is damaged as hell. So what's nice about Function and Beauty is that you can customize the types of shampoo conditioner that you have depending on what goals you have for your hair. So for mine, obviously I want to reduce brassiness and fix any split ends. It helps especially because I have coarse and wavy hair and I'm able to customize it on their online quiz. I always get the purple shampoo to help fix the bleach in my hair. But recently I decided to make my conditioner orange because you can choose your fragrance and I decided to make it a fragrance called Takes Two to Mango. I also got a leave-in treatment, so anytime that my hair is not looking that great but I'm too lazy to shower, which is pretty much all the time, I go ahead and use this. All of their products are safe to use. It's vegan, cruelty-free, no sulfates, no toxins. Every ingredient is tested with voluntary participants, which means that they never test on animals. So if you're interested, you can get 20% off of your first set using the link in my description below. Now let's get this smooth movie over with. We got an open road. Let's see a car crash happening. Just end my fucking misery already. Can we please just see them get into like a crash and then the movie just ends? Like that's it? It's a five second movie and then we're done? What I hate about this montage is that they have been going on a road trip around Northern California, going camping with all of their friends and this is exactly what I have been doing with my friends and that makes me kind of sweat because I could have crossed paths with these people. Saw the fish at the aquarium in Monterey. Oh, I almost went to the aquarium in Monterey too. Fuck. Fortunately, the aquarium was closed due to COVID, but we all knew it's probably because they spread it around there. See, they're not even wearing their masks. Saw a sunset with colors I had never seen before. You've never seen the color yellow? San Francisco? This is where I live. Okay, I'm moving out. I'm actually moving out of San Francisco in three weeks anyway, and it's specifically to get away from these people. Watched our naughty video from Chemistry Lab. <gasps> what? Why, why did they just, I actually do remember when they had sex in like the chemistry lab and I was wondering when there would be a security camera recording this. Apparently there was, but first of all, how did they even get that security camera? Second of all, why are they playing this back and then laughing at it? I would be horrified if I had footage of that. This is too much. Road tandem bikes in Golden Gate Park. Oh fuck, Golden Gate Park, dude. I literally live right across from that. Oh, they're too close to me. I want to move out of the fucking state because I can't deal with this right now. Oh my God. But the absolute best was watching the Bay Lights with my favorite two guys in the world. Um, where's Rachel in this scenario? It was the four of you the entire time. How come when you were watching the Baylight, she wasn't there? What was she doing? Where was she? I want to watch the Baylights with Rachel. When you get off the waitlist for Harvard, maybe you and I could go off campus and get an apartment together. Can you imagine living in the same apartment as him? I just know he would have a fucking mattress on the floor. No bed frame. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at that swimsuit. Dude, I feel like she just gets prettier with each movie. I feel like we would be such good friends in real life. I want to get brunch with her. I want to go to the beach with her. <sighs> I wanted to show this to you. 
What is it? Why is your calendar in fucking Comic Sans? My Berkeley schedule with your Rhode Island School of Design schedule. <gasps> She's going to the school of design? Dude, this bitch is a designer. God, I love her already. Dude, you know, I got my bachelor's degree in design as well. <laughs> Aw, I love that for her. And she's going to Rhode Island, far away from these basic bitches out here. That could work. Of course it'll work. We'll make it work. Okay. Aw, oh, she's having hesitations. Girl, don't worry. I'm gonna go to that Rhode Island School of Design and I'm gonna snatch you up. We are planning to sell the beach house. What? 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 Wait, so where are we gonna watch the fireworks on the 4th of July? I don't know, dude. Just go to a park. Damn. You take away a beach house from these privileged ass kids and they have a total meltdown. Back in my day, when we had a 4th of July, we just went to this sketchy park and when the police came, we just lay on the floor to try to hide from them. Is there any way I could just get another small extension? I'm very sorry, Miss Evans, but we need your decision by end of business day tomorrow. Why are you asking for an extension? There's so many people who are dying to get into these schools. They're not gonna wait for you. Also, do schools really call their students to follow up on any admission that they didn't get a reply back from? Because I remember when I was applying for colleges, you would get the email that you were accepted and you have to reply back to that email by a certain date. If you don't reply back, then you don't have it anymore. It doesn't make any sense logistically for them to call every single student that doesn't reply back to them. Is this what the tuition money is going for? All the phone bills? they gotta pay for draw two uno uno out dude she had a brother <laughs> what when did that happen oh i miss this i feel like i barely see you guys anymore what was there even to miss you didn't even spend time with your family <laughs> throughout this entire franchise why does she try to dress up as like the mini me version of the other guy <laughs> they got the same leather jacket and jean shorts she looks like the cartoon sidekick for the villain the way that they literally have the same exact hairstyles when they were a kid whoa whoa here's what we should do we need to make one pile for the stuff we want to keep and then another pile for things we want to put in bags and donate Wow, you're so smart at organizing things, Elle. No wonder you got accepted into Harvard. I never would have guessed to do that whenever I'm cleaning out a room. <laughs> what the fuck? We can only hope he chokes on that thing. <laughs> Please, take me out of my misery. It's still here! Our Mario Kart lunchbox! What? What? Oh my. Oh my. No. No. Wait, is that what I think it is? Wait, is that what I think it is? I got off the wait list. Harvard. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, it's not that big of a deal. Oh my god, he's so mad about it. Imagine being mad that one of your friends decided to go to Harvard. Dude, why is she crying? It's literally not that serious. Maybe you should actually make a decision for what college to go to based on what you want your career to be, not based on what boy you like better. Or is that asking for too much? This is our next door neighbor, Ashton. Are you a Berkeley guy? Yeah, just finished my first year. Dude, I started in the fall. Get out of here, man. The way they look like identical twins. They talk the same and they look the same. See, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna meet so many people who look just like him in Berkeley. You could literally just switch those two guys and I would not have been able to tell a difference. Okay, is this movie pointless? Absolutely. However, I have a feeling that the actors probably get along really well with each other. They probably agree to do all of these movies just as an excuse to like hang out and have fun. Because they literally get to travel to like all these places, just hang out, have a good time, then get paid for it. I mean, I get it. Get your coin. Have fun. I accept your offer. Oh, I knew this wasn't the last we would see of him. Let's go, Marco. Let's go. So good to see you. Hey. This poor girl, she did not ask to be here. Hey. Hey, loser. Chloe, I knew this wasn't the last we would see of this bitch. What are you up to? Uh, just doing some apartment hunting. Good, your last place smelled like weird old cheese. Dude, Chloe knows what's up. I told you his fucking apartment probably smells. She calls it like it is, man. You should come by our place for a bit. Come crash if you want. Are you sure I won't mind? 
Maybe you should ask her first. See, even she knows to be respectful of him and his girlfriend. We love a respectful queen. Chloe's actually gonna be in town. I told her it would maybe be cool if she wanted to stay at our place for a bit. Please don't actually have a problem with Chloe. Cause we had already established in the second movie that she was chill. She was not trying to steal your man. She has higher standards than that. Frankly, she's way out of his league. So you don't even have to worry about that. I ran into Marco and his family eating at the restaurant. So he's gonna help us with this cool bucket list thingy. Oh, cool, oh, Marco. Wait, that's, that's kind of a double standard. I was totally fine with Chloe. Oh, I didn't kiss Chloe. Dude! He got a point though, he got a point because it is different. You know that Chloe is not into him, but Marco, it's pretty clear he still has feelings for her. I'm team Noah on this one. I get what he's talking about. Can't believe I actually agree with him. You know, it's so weird because in the first movie, he was so weird and abusive, but in the second movie and this one, he's like neutered now. So he's like a lot more chill. He got some kind of lobotomy or some shit. That is it. Yeah. I like it busted and screw you. I like it busted and screw you. This actor is really doing the most. He's like, you know what? This is the last movie of the franchise. I really got to give it my all in every single line. I just want to let you know how much fun this having you here while I'm working. But I do have one. I uh, invited Ashton to go to the uh, the comic book show. Cool. Cool. So. I catch you later. I catch you later. This was my fault after all. <laughs> um, that's hella funny, actually. Oh, they're just two stupid dudes. They look the same. I swear, they could be twins. Dude, what if the plot twist was that they were twins separated from birth? But even though I wanted to be with Noah so badly, I couldn't help wondering if I should have chosen Berkeley with Lee instead. Dude, stop being so codependent. Oh my God. Is it so bad for him to have one other friend? God damn. You know that you can make your own friends when you go to Harvard, right? I want to stop by and say I get everything set up for you at the water park. No oh, way. where are you? Oh my God. God. Come on. Chloe. Seriously? Aw, this is cute. I want to play video games with Chloe. Yeah, just um, babysitting because my dad is on a date with his new uh, girlfriend. She's kind of annoying. <laughs> what? She's not even annoying. She seems perfectly fine. Girl, take a look at yourself in the mirror. If she's annoying, what are you? Yay! <laughs> so fun. <laughs> <laughs> this entire movie is just montages of them spending time around California. This whole movie is just vacation for the actors. I told her I'm not doing it. You can be so stubborn. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta support your lady. See, Chloe says that you should support your lady. She was never a threat, dude. She's on your side always. Oh my God, Rachel is so cute in her Luigi costume. Honestly, this actually does look pretty fun. Is it relevant to the story? Not really. But again, this is just a vacation for the actors. Oh my God, Chloe! Hello, in that plumber's outfit. Ooh, Mario is the number one. I'm coming for you, Evans. Hope you're hungry. Listen, I don't know what's going on. I'm just glad that the actors are having fun. I would agree to be in this shitty movie just so that I can have fun with all of my friends like this. I did go go-kart racing before, but I got banned from there. Marco and Noah are going at it pretty hard. Uh, Noah? Noah, can you hear me? Oh. Noah! Why is she so concerned? This is a race. He's trying to win. Close one. He's not gonna shake his hand. You know when a white guy doesn't shake your hand, that is the ultimate form of disrespect. Why the guy that you kissed in front of the whole world Noah. is wearing the costume that you Noah. asked me to wear? Noah. Well, if you think that he's not still after you, then you're being naive. He is still going after you though. It's embarrassing. Okay, don't say it's embarrassing. You're just upset. <laughs> You know what? I don't even care. I don't know. I sort of think he might have a point. Yeah, seriously, dude. If you have me saying that he has a point, then I don't know what kind of world we're living in. It's him that I don't trust. If you trust her, then you've got to believe what she says and nothing less. I love how Chloe is always prioritizing the girl first. She's not a pick me girl at all. She doesn't just blindly agree to whatever Noah says. She's always on Elle's side. And that is why Elle should never be distrusting of Chloe. My dad just told me that him and my mom are getting a divorce and now they won't stop calling to check up on me. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm please, no, I'm just so... don't make a big deal about it, okay? 
Oh, Chloe. Chloe's strong. She'll be okay. No way, you did all of this? I wanted to make up for yesterday. See, this is a change in Noah. Two times already in this movie, and we aren't even to the halfway point yet. He would get mad at her for something, and kind of justifiably mad at her, because I get why he would feel insecure. And then he would quickly apologize or make it up to her. That is called growth. What's wrong? I have this thing with Lee, and it's like we've been planning it for Please weeks. Please don't I... tell me it's a bucket list thing. I'm sorry. I feel horrible. You're actually gonna go? I mean, I made you dinner. No, I mean, I, it's I just, it's not like I want to go, Noah. Oh, that's awkward. Honestly, I don't know what I would do in that situation because I hate canceling plans with someone if I made a promise with them, especially if they're looking forward to it and they really want me to come. But if I were to see my boyfriend plan this nice dinner in order to make up with me, I wouldn't know what to do either because both of them are going to feel shitty if you don't go. Okay, this is actually a tough situation to be in. Let me know in the comments what you would do. Would you go to the thing that you your best friend had planned for tonight or would you stay with the spontaneous dinner that your boyfriend planned in order to salvage the relationship? Let me know. Oh my gosh, she looks so good in her waiter outfit. Dude, they can put Rachel in anything and she will look amazing in it. Oh, don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. Oh my god, is this a fucking flash mob? You know what? I changed my mind. You should have stayed at that dinner with Noah because this is embarrassing. If I were paying to eat at that restaurant and then that happened, I would ask for a refund. And now she's got to run off to Noah because she's late for their dinner because she was busy doing the flash mob with Lee. This entire movie, her main conflict is just time management. But every step closer we got to finishing the list made me feel like I was one step further away from him. It's so weird that this whole situation is being framed as a dichotomy. Like she has to choose between Noah or her best friend. It's not mutually exclusive. They're literally brothers. That's about as close as you can get. So what, you're just gonna give up? I'm not giving up. I'm just tired of fighting. Well then do something about it. Like talk to her or fight for her, anything. You know, at first, I thought that Chloe was just always women first, super supportive of Elle. But now I realize she's probably just projecting her mommy and daddy issues because they're getting a divorce. Either way, I still support you, Chloe. So each rival in their respective love triangles are comforting the main characters. So why do we have to root for the main couple again? 23-year-old woman and I'm crying because... Mommy and daddy are breaking up. Stop. Ooh, she's 23. She's age appropriate for me. Let's go. Hi. May I have this dance? This is the third time in a row that they've had a conflict where Noah was justifiably upset and he made up for it. Do we have to see this? Was this necessary? <laughs> Time after time. This song represents the Kissing Booth franchise. Cause time after time, they keep pumping out this movie. Time after fucking time. So what time do you want to leave for uh, Berkeley next week? Oh. Oh man, uh, I know and I like literally just made up and things have been kind of off lately. So I feel like I should stick around. Sure, it's fine. Thank you. Why are their relationships so fragile? It's like their entire relationship hinges upon you spending time with that person at that specific moment or else it's over. There's just so much high stakes with these relationships. It's stressful. I just wanna chill and hang out with you. I don't want it to be like a make it or break it kind of deal. I couldn't stop thinking about what I knew I needed to do. Does she know she needs to reject Marco? <sighs> Just end him already. It's like putting down an animal that's in pain. And if you ever want to talk or need anything, you know, just call me. Just let her go, dude. She ain't worth it. Do you know anything about her personality? Do you even know if she has a personality? These are for the concert on the 22nd. We're both in college orientation then. Yeah, I, I figured we could skip orientation so that we could spend more time together. Ooh, she doesn't want to do that. See, this girl prioritizes her education over a boy. That's what I'm fucking talking about, Rachel. <laughs> Oh my god, he barely grazed the ball in that guy's face. What a monster. Nice shot. 
asshole. Oh, oh, the boys are fighting. You still want L? And everybody here knows that. Oh my god. So the sooner you get that through your thick skull, the He's sooner you can- him. I knew it! He's gonna hold himself back from punching back. And that way, it's gonna show character development. Because in the first movie, he would have already gone to fighting him. But in this one, he's gonna step away. We're not doing this. I asked you not to let him back in our lives. We know her! No way. It's kind of hard to take his departure seriously when he's wearing those shorts. No. I am so sorry. But Noel was right. And you know he was. Oh, God. Dude, not the time. Not the time, dude. Just give me a chance and stop I'll it, show you- Stop it! Stop! I mean to go. Please. <laughs> I'm the brother just sitting awkwardly on the couch like, uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, I bet you the main girl is gonna blow up at Linda. And I will choose the doggy. Oh, you know, actually, sorry, I'm, I'm always this guy. Come on, Elle, I rolled first. Come I on, Elle. Mm, she's gonna make a whole sink about it. Doesn't matter. Come on, Elle, you were the piece. Yeah, girl, you're making it weird now. It's not that deep. Sure, I'm just, yeah, I wasn't, didn't really want to play anyway. <laughs> okay, then why are you here? I want you to have it here. I don't really care what you want. Girl, you're making everyone uncomfortable right now. I don't like the energy in this room. She can't just like walk into our lives and be all part of it like she's just been here the whole time. Linda, you don't belong here. Girl, we're just playing Monopoly. It ain't that deep. Why are you being so butthurt when you have barely spent time with your family in this entire franchise? I wish I was just like a spoiled kid living in a beach house and these were like my only problems. Let's say we keep trying and then in a year's time, it doesn't work out. You've moved across the country. You've given up everything you wanted for me yeah okay that, but that's for me to decide um <laughs> she's like yeah i might be giving up on everything for a boy but that's my decision feminism i don't want to be one of the people who makes you put yourself last i don't want to be responsible for a decision you make that you're gonna regret how is it possible that in this fucking entire franchise he's the one who has the most self-awareness out of everyone what kind of world are we living in right now i know better than trying to stop you going to boston <laughs> <laughs> but if you do decide to go <laughs> The fact that we love each other means nothing. Oh God, this is why this movie's so damn long. Cause you know they're gonna get together in the end anyway. Didn't they break up in the second movie too? Like damn, how many times are they gonna break up? Maybe you should just go to a community college. It's not just about the damn game, L. It's about you fighting for our friendship. I know you're upset, but this- And I don't matter to you, really. And I don't matter to you, really. Not compared to him. I never have. Not compared to him. I never have. God, it's like, like you, you are, are five. five. You have never had to worry about anything. You've had everything handed to you your whole life. Girl, please don't make this about his privilege when you got plenty of that too. But it was never, never going to be. Because, because all, all of those, those things that you made us were so great before, great before it's gone. gone. And we're at, at least those of us have had to grow, grow up, up at some point. point. Oh, oh, and a new, new rule. rule. Yeah, all, all of our, our rules, rules are done. done. For whatever it's worth, I want you to know that I think you are an absolutely brilliant woman. Chloe, you are so supportive of Elle, but maybe question, should you? Man, that light on her face makes her look like an angel. Other than Noah, why did you want to go to Harvard? This is the question we have all been asking. Like, what are you even majoring in? What do you want to do with your life, dude? We don't even know this shit. I never once heard you talk about what you actually wanted to study once you got there. Yeah, but I mean, like, lots of people figure out what they want to study once they start going to a college, though. I know. Wait, how did she not have a plan on what she wanted to study, but she still got accepted into Berkeley and Harvard? Because when you apply to those colleges, you have to at least make up something. You have to pick a major for what you want, and you have to say in your college essays what your plan is. Maybe it's time that you think about what it is that you want to do 
figure out what your dream is, what you're passionate about. This lady is like, hey girl, how about you get a personality? Damn, look at this guy drawing some architecture. What the hell? See, at least he has some kind of skill outside of this fucking bullshit they're always in. Hey Lee, can we talk? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, she's gonna break up with him? I hope so. <laughs> Well, everything that's happened with Eleanor got me thinking about us. You know, I've watched them trying to keep up their long distance relationship and saw how hard it was. I just don't want to see us end up like they did. Rachel's like, dude, I don't want to be anything like them. I gotta get the fuck out. Gotta start over in Rhode Island. Start with a clean slate. So you're going to USC? Yeah, I have an interview for their spring term next week. Hey, I'm sorry that things didn't work out between us. Me too. Okay, so they're broken up, but they ended it on good terms because they're all growing individually. Okay, we get it. She's independent now. Good for her. I don't care. Bitch, let's wrap it up. L, take care of our game, mom. How the fuck is she gonna move a DDR machine? Where is that gonna fit in her dorm room? Oh god, I gotta listen to her try to do an interview. This bitch is gonna flop and she's still gonna get in the school. Um... Um, I'm so sorry. There's nothing's coming to my mind. I just, I don't know what to say. Girl, please stop. This is embarrassing me. No way, she's gonna stop and she's gonna be like, actually, I do have an idea. There we go. You know how in fantasy sports, people draft real world sports athletes? What if we were to apply that to a large esports platform? And you could even call it fantasy sports. And fantasy football is like a multi million dollar industry, right? Seven billion dollars, actually. See, there you go. This is the most terrible pitch I've ever heard. You have this half baked idea, but you don't even know how much the industry makes. <laughs> He's just smiling and thinking, I wish I never had children. Are we over? Please, please let this be over. God fucking damn it, we have one final scene. Six years later, okay, of course, we gotta show that inevitably the couples will end up back together. Yup, fucking knew it. Oh my God. Oh my God, the fucking kissing boob. They squeeze it in to the very end. Here we go, there comes Noah. You look so businessy. And you look like Kris Jenner. Through all of the shadowy corners of me. Now all of this happened just because of, well, you know. Well, the Kissing Boo franchise is finally over, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this video, collect my coin, take a nap. I'm definitely gonna be moving out of California now because apparently these heathens are around here taking their cute little road trips and I do not wanna risk running into them. I'm gonna go plan my next move and I'm gonna head out. So if you made it this far, go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel and goodbye. And your mind is just like theirs is To die, what a pity to die Without getting to cherish All the things you left behind And I know you know what fair